viewers to another episode on ASUG 12 exams. So in this episode we continue looking at the November 2022 science paper 1 which is basically the standard O level of physics. So in the previous episode we covered the equation 5 extensively. So let us now focus on question B6. Figure B6.1 shows a magnetic field lines between the poles of two magnets. So uh, basically we have uh, that uh, figure, then uh, question A, name point R. So uh, what is uh, basically point R? So point R which is uh, basically here is known as neutral point. So uh, basically uh, this is uh, basically at uh, the point where there is no resultant magnetic field because the two fields from uh, the north poles of two magnets are equal in magnitude but in, uh, basically opposite in direction. So what you notice in this case is you see that uh, these are coming out. So if they are coming out basically this is uh, basically north and this is uh, basically north. So remember um, the magnetic uh, field moves from uh, basically north to uh, basically south. So this north south. So if they are entering it means uh, basically that's south. If they are coming out basically it's north. So because they are all coming out so these are north north. Then um, if you look at uh, basically a uh, question B. If P is uh, south which is the case here, pole, what are the poles Q and T? So basically again this should be south, then a Q will be north. So you notice that a Q is a basically north a pole, then a T, T will be a basically a south a pole. So are these are the key thing that uh, you need uh, to do for you to get the three max. So take note of uh, basically the direction of a magnetic field. Magnetic field always moves from north to south. This is uh, very important. So if the arrows are pointing inside it means this should be south. Here they should be coming out. That's a key for you to know. So basically uh, this is how you answer uh, this question quickly to get uh, the three marks. Remember it's important that you maximize the marks on section E B. Because section B carries 45 marks which is uh, basically uh, the biggest uh, section in the entire uh, paper of uh, science paper 1. So join me in the next episode as I look at question e B7 in detail. Thank you viewers for watching uh, this uh, episode. If you find this video to be helpful, please uh, consider liking and also if you are new to this channel consider subscribing. By liking, subscribing and sharing you are going to help us improve our visibility. A simple like from you makes a big difference. So once you subscribe to our channel and go to our channel we discover that we've got uh, so much content. So we've got uh, mathematics uh, based uh, revision questions, we've got uh, physics, we've got uh, chemistry, then we've got also topic based uh, section for all the subjects. And this is uh, the best uh, section for you if you're having any challenges in uh, any particular topic.